Okay, before we can actually solve um, differential equations, it's kind of handy if we've got um, some language that we can use to give an idea of what's going on. So a couple of really important ideas are the order, idea of order and degree. So order is the highest order derivative, and degree is the power of that particular derivative. So I'm just going to have a look at the four examples from the previous page and ask what order they are and what degree they are. Okay, so here's our um, example. So looking at the first one, the order is the highest order derivative. So this is the second derivative and this is the third derivative. So the order of this is going to be 3 and then the power associated with that gives us the degree. So this is a third order fourth degree differential equation. So it's a third order because it had a third derivative and it's a fourth degree because it had that, that third derivative was to the power of 4. Okay, so looking at this one here, well, there's only one derivative, and it's a first-order derivative. It's just the first derivative, so the order is going to be 1, and that thing is effectively to the power of 1. It's effectively only one of those things, so it's a first-order, first-degree differential equation. Okay, and this next one has got a second derivative, but it's only got one power of it, so it's a second-order, first-degree differential equation. And the Newton's law of cooling, again, is only a first order differential equation because it's only got a first derivative, there's no second or third derivatives. And again, it's only that thing's not to any power, it's just the power of one, so it's only got degree of one as well. So it's a first order, first degree differential equation. And I'd be able to tell that's quite important because there's different techniques for solving different versions of those different combinations of order and degree.